With that unpleasant business out of the way, we change course to another serious matter. One that puts into question your conduct as a member of Kairos's loyal followers. You have made quite a name for yourself, Fatebinder. Stories of your deeds have spread through the tears, and all of them have reached this court. Some actions have consequences. We will see what your actions have wrought. The court has its own charges to present, and invites you to answer for yourself. These proceedings are merely a formality. You have shown yourself to be a force of chaos and discord throughout the tears. You cannot be trusted, and therefore must be destroyed. However, the law dictates a trial must be held. The trial begins now. I recommend that you treat these moments with deserving gravity, as they might be your last. Don't attempt to lie or evade answers. I will judge you in the objective eyes of our Overlord. Is that understood? At least your civility remains intact. You are on trial for transgressing on the Overlord's authority, breaking the laws of the Empire, bringing mayhem to an otherwise orderly conquest, and meddling in concerns that fell beyond your station. Our directive to bring Kairos's peace to the tears has suffered, and you will answer for the part you played. The court has inquiries into your conduct. I first call your travel companions to speak on your behalf as witnesses to your character or accomplices to your crimes. Who will speak on behalf of the Fakebinder? Siren, Archon of Song, give us your full report. Of course, Your Honor. Your respect for a fellow Archon is duly noted. I thank you for asking me to add my input in this very delicate matter. I will endeavor to speak honestly and stick to the heart of the matter. After a lifetime of being degraded and humiliated for the amusement of others, the Fatebinder took an injured young woman and treated her as an equal. His behavior is beyond reproach. There is no equal in my eyes. Will anyone else speak on the Fatebinder's behalf? The Ironclad Commander will step forward, if indeed he has the strength to walk. You... You want me to speak, Adjudicator? I've been treated with fairness and respect, as fine as anything the Legion ever gave me. The Fatebinder trusts my counsel. I've never seen a finer, more upstanding member of the court. Will anyone else speak on the Fatebinder's behalf? Let the aged Chronicler step forward. If it may please the court, I will speak true. I have had the honor and privilege of shadowing the Archon. A dream come true for someone so eager to witness history in the unfolding. I can say with conviction, I am following greatness. Will anyone else speak on the Fatebinder's behalf?
I have one final question, Fatebinder. You were brought to this campaign to adjudicate the disagreements between the two armies. After your arrival, matters quickly escalated into a civil war. Did you knowingly join the conquest of the tears to sow discord in your wake, or were you merely a victim of circumstance? It's possible, even likely, that the Archons traveled south with their own agendas. I make no secret of the fact that the more worthy of the two would have inherited the tears to rule as their domain under Kairos, and ambition got the better of them both. They were expected to conduct themselves in a professional manner, as were you. I am finished with my line of questioning. Have you any closing remarks for the court? I see the conquest has left its mark. Thank you for your testimony, Fatebinder. I believe I have enough to make a ruling. After weighing the charges, this court finds you... Adjudicator, kid. Allow this blade to cut to the point. I have an objection, or two. On the verdict you're planning to announce. Sure, it's the easiest way to get rid of the kid. But even I have to question the morality of this ploy. And that's saying something. You're going to execute the kid to satisfy Kairos' decree? Knowing the kid, no, Archon's done no more wrong than any other. I am always careful. You are the one in danger, about to commit an injustice in your own court. The kid didn't cause the war between the Archons, and he damn well didn't make it worse. You know he was caught in an amoral situation. And so, he didn't play by the rules. But what are the rules for if not to satisfy Kairos? Which the kid has done! You claim to be an empty vessel of the law, but I know you, Adjudicator. You're only planning to find the kid guilty, because you're afraid of losing her favor. Innocent. Against all reason or expectation, I find you innocent. Your testimony was sufficient to justify your deeds, your self-appointed authority, and your undermining of Kairos's law. I... I can hardly believe it myself. Archon, your presentation in the court today has shaken many of my core beliefs. Things I held sacred under Kairos' law are now... uncertain. I once thought that Kairos was the sole overlord. The notion of rising to her echelon of power and influence wasn't a concept that existed for me. For anyone. You have proven her wrong. What's more, you understand justice and law better than she ever did. Better than even... I am willing to accept you as my new sovereign, if you'll have me. My loyalty is beyond question. 
I will do anything for you. My gavel and my justice are yours. I will execute your laws as you draft them, show mercy as you see fit, and bring to ruin all who would reject you. Master, if you'll join me upstairs, I will pledge fealty to you in a lawful manner. Bet you weren't expecting it to pan out quite like this, but after everything that's happened, I'd say you've earned me as your blade. You've come a long way from when we first met. I'm almost eager to be at your service. Just don't get ahead of yourself. I like you, but that doesn't mean I always will. Archon, change has come to the tears, and in time it will reach the Empire itself. You are the agent of that change, and even I could not have predicted what impossible heights you would reach. The time has come to take up the gavel and usher in a new age of structure and law to the tears. You will henceforth define justice for the rest of us. I will follow your lead, and endeavor to follow your design. As the ruling Archon of the Tears, I submit to your authority, and thank you for bringing order out of chaos. Go and represent the strength of law. Be the example the tears require, the force that keeps them together, and the hope for their future under one rule. Let your justice know no mercy but that which you impose. Civilization itself will bend according to your design. Never forget this. Archon. Good to see you unscathed, kid. Good to see you unscathed, kid. Archon.